Hello, my darlings. I hope you're good and well. Take a seat. Today, we're having a Russian lesson. I'm going to introduce you to Russian ABC. Okay? So, are you ready? Good. Um, I'm gonna use the board. Okay, we will start with something simple. Um, the letters in Russian language they different because it's a different ABC, but some of them uh, looks familiar and some of them is not. Okay, so for example. It's a letter A in English it's equivalent to A. Yeah, so that's somewhat simple, yeah? A but if we take the second letter in our ABC, which is like this oops. letter B, B, which is equivalent to English, English B, so that's B, the sound B, letter B, I don't know if you say B, oh, B, huh? so if you see it looks not really the same, yes, it's a little bit different, okay, It's even more confusing. The third letter after this will be this one. In Russian, we say V. It's a letter V. 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 Um, I think it's more like this English letter V for victory because we say when we spell name Victoria, Victoria, we will use this letter, V, but it looks like B in English. And we also have similar letters like, like this, obviously it's letter E, yeah, but in Russian we just say, yeah, yeah, I don't even know equivalent in English for yeah, what can be. If you put two little dots on the top, it will be yo, like yo-yo. So, you see, yo, but we have just one letter, yo, yo. So funny. Now back to something weird and unnormal, unusual. Sorry, unusual. The next very unusual letter we have to be like this. Yeah. See, like a little hangman. You know when you play a hangman, <laughs> something like this. This is letter G, like um, goose. Can you guess? But what is it? Yes, it's a goose. So I think it will be equivalent to G. The spell right? Yeah, G. Same. We don't say G. We say G, like Gaga, G, goose. Also, the letters like M, K, O, they're all the same. 
the same like in English. So O O M M and K is the same. Um, then we have letter. Um, it's very unusual letter. Uh, something like this. Well, it's not unusual because you have this letter in English, which is Y. Yeah, Y. And in Russian, it's very simple. Ooh. Yeah, so just one sound. Mm. But I wanted to show you very unusual letters. Okay, let's say this one, for example. Ah, like this. So, this is letter CH. In English, it would be like this. Yeah, so two letters, and we have one. This is make sound CH. This is sound CH. But we only have one. And if we add, I think it's like this in English, if we add as here I think it's like this so maybe without C I don't remember so we also this is sh sh so um, I don't remember but I think it's like this to make sound sh it's more like school sh maybe sh or maybe without and you do it like this sh so this is letter sh, 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 and you say okay, and it's spell like this. Okay, now we also have two very interesting letters, which is we don't read it's um, similar like in french maybe we have this one and this and we also have like this there we go these letters has no sound at all so we don't read them we only use them for like this one it's we call it a sign this is very soft kind of sign if you put this sign next to a certain letter it will make it very yeah. soft this sign will divide one word in two kind of yeah so these two extra letters in our abc we have no sound we just have them there. Okay. Next letter. It's a bit fun because not everybody can pronounce this. It will take you a while to learn how to pronounce this sound, and you're still not gonna get it right. Unfortunately, I don't know the equivalent in English. It's very hard because you you don't have this sound in the language. Basically, this is letter U. Mm. Yes, it sounds very funny, <laughs> but it's U. Mm. Um, the um, what word I can use um, when you say T? It means you. Um, I don't know, tikva, pumpkin, tikva. So yes, like um, it's incredible hard to say for English people this sound. Do you really say e? And they say no. You have to say u. Okay, that's one of the very strange and difficult sounds we have. U. Then, I don't think so, we 
have any more strange sounds. No, we have letter like this. I know what you're gonna say. Looks like number 10 with something, but not this is letter U. Yes, exactly, like a word U. So it's equivalent to <laughs> English U. You have three letters, we have just one U. Okay. Also, we have letter which looks like number. Here we go. That's not number three. That's a letter Z. Would you say Z? Z. Z. And it spells like this, and it looks exactly like number three. Z. 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 That's not everything. I forgot two, two more, oh, three, three, three more letters, which is, doesn't look like any other letters. Um, it's one like this. Can you guess what sound it is? May someone? This is letter E. Uh, uh. This is equivalent, I think. Can be to English. No, what I'm saying. No, no, not English. This is uh, online. It could be like E. Uh, maybe like to your A. I'm not really sure. Yeah, maybe like A. But we don't say A, we just say E. Uh. Another letter, very funny. Looky. That's what people say to me when I write in Russian that it's very funny looking letters. This one. It's not English R because it's another way around. <laughs> you see? But it's completely different sound. This is letter yeah like yeah so for you to read that probably phonetically something like this I don't know if that I just realized that probably mirrored for you no no Now, I think that's all letters. E, U, Y. I think the rest letters they look similar. Like I said, the only difference we have it's um, the English S in Russia. It's like C. C, C, C. So we just have one sound C. So this is we we don't have like this letter. Okay, so it's like this and rest T, T, O, the same, M, the same, K, the same, A. Ah, okay, yes, of course. How oh, I didn't realize that that's a bit confusing again. This is. Letter N. That's exactly this letter. I know I should spell like this. So this is not Ash or H. H. I say Ash. H. This is N in our language. And if I write. Mm. 
this you would say to me the letter N but it's not it's E it's equivalent probably or well, for this or maybe when you have double double E and you read like E so this is we have one letter for the sound again that's the reason why we have 32 letters in our ABC yes 32 32 no, um, I think that's all letters no. which is not same um, L yeah L letter L L yeah it's look the same this is letter L that's would be equivalent to L okay so now after you I'm not expecting you to learn everything. Um, we could maybe do some words, just very simple words here. Yeah? Just take the furniture and we learn something like, let's say, apple. Would you like to learn apple? Okay. The red apple and then is I will write in Russian letters and below I will try to write for you phonetically so you can read. They're not really good. If you look, it looks completely different, and you probably can recognize only two letters, which is O and K. Now I'm gonna write phonetically here, and I will pronounce for you. I think it's like this. Yab loco. Yab loco. Okay, can you repeat? That will be an apple. Yab loco. Yab loco. Yab loco. And um, in Russia, we do not use um, a, like an apple or the apple. We don't have that at all. We just say what? Yablok. Okay. Oh, how about what you want to know? Well, banana will be banana. I'm trying to see. Let's see pear. Yeah. Pear. So, that's English. And in Russian. And again, you probably will recognize only a couple letters. 
it most looks familiar to you. A, this is look like Y, and P. And obviously you won't be able to read it. So, here, I write it out phonetically. Well, I'll try. Not really sure how correctly I can do that. Basically, you say grusha, grusha, p, a p, grusha, and the sound r, r, a. We say with a your tongue r, grusha. Okay, I think that's more than enough. I think it's more than enough for our first lesson. And so it was more like introduction. I didn't expect you to learn everything. Oops, I forgot one chunk. Okay. So let me just make some notes for today. Thank you very much for coming and being with me today. Bye-bye.